Hello and welcome to Droidbox. My name is David and in this video I will be giving you an overview of the Droidbox Play On. We start off with the new boot animation of the Play On which will be found in a forthcoming firmware update. The home screen features four main categories, emulators, games, applications and settings. On the emulators category you have a few subcategories. These contain shortcuts to games for the emulators such as Arcade, Nintendo 64 and Super Nintendo. On the application screen are the apps that come pre-installed such as BBC Player, a custom DBMC build, our own software, the Droidbox Marketplace and Droidbox Share which we will cover later. There are also the latest versions of Kodi and other media players, Google Play Store, Showbox, TuneIn Radio and much more. The first application I will show you is AppyChick. This is a marketplace for both Android games, emulators and the ROMs for them. The homepage contains items such as recommended topics and these include highlights, games that can be played online and hot topics. At the top are some menu options, categories, Android, ranking and shop. We will take a look at the categories menu first. This option shows the platforms for the emulator games that you can download such as PC Engine, Sega Dreamcast, Nintendo DS, PlayStation, Game Boy Advanced and Nintendo 64. There are also older systems such as the Game Boy Color. The next is Android games which again are split into categories such as action, racing, RPG, puzzle and so on. So first of all I will show you how to download the games for the built-in emulators. This is very easy to do. First you pick a system from the list such as the Super Nintendo. The next screen gives you a list of the games available. You simply click on the download button for the game. You will get a pop-up menu. Click on the official download and wait a few moments for it to download and install. Once completed, click on the start button and the emulator and the selected game will now launch. With the built-in emulators, the settings will be pre-configured so you can jump in and play straight away. The built-in emulators all run very well and there are thousands of games that you can download and install. We have muted the audio for this part of the video as we may get some music match warning for the game audio. The audio does work perfectly fine on the emulators though. With some emulators you can choose between using a joystick or if you want a true retro console feel you can use the D-pad. If you press the touch screen the emulator will now pause and you have a few options such as disabling the sand, switching between horizontal and vertical screens and even taking a screenshot to share with friends. The next category I will show is the Android games. Simply click on the category and choose a game that you want to play. For this video we will choose the popular game Minecraft. As before click on the download button and choose the official mirror and wait a few moments for it to download. Once the download is completed you will get a pop-up screen to prompt to install the files. Click on the next button until you see the install option and click once more. Give it a few moments to install the game. Once completed you can open the game straight away. Some games do not natively support controller input such as Minecraft so I can show you how to map the joypad input to the touchscreen. By pressing the joystick map button on the play on you can move the virtual joystick to the screen and click save and then move around using the joystick. This allows many games that do not support joysticks to actually be usable by the play on. The next app I would like to show you is Bitgames Center. This is another marketplace that is pre-installed on your play on and is similar to Epichick but aimed more towards Android games. You have a few menu options such as searching for games, games that are already installed on your play on, what's hot, TV remote, top list and gamepad. 
The gamepad option contains just under 5,000 games at the time of writing. This should keep even the most die-hard gamer well occupied. As before, you simply choose a game from the list, click on download and follow any on-screen prompts. Once the game is installed, you can access it from the My Games menu or from the home screen. Here are just a few of the many games that you can play with the Droidbox Play On. As well as playing games, the Drybox Play-On is more than capable of covering your media viewing. The Play-On comes with Kodi as well as DBMC on the new firmware pre-installed. Kodi can be used to watch your favourite streams, connect to your existing media library or simply play files from a local source such as the internal storage or external drive. You can also connect your Play-On to your TV with the HDMI output. The Droidbox Market is our own software that allows you to browse very useful apps that we use and also hope you will find useful. The apps are split into categories and you can find great apps such as ES File Explorer, Moonlight, Internet Radio and Google Hangouts. There are also some Kodi and TV apps for TV streaming such as Showbox which is very popular, Mobdro, Netflix, BBC iPlayer and TV Catch Up. To download an app, simply choose it from the menu, click on install and follow the on-screen prompts for it to start downloading. Once installed, you click on open to load the app straight away. Mobdro is a TV streaming app and allows you to easily browse channels and categories for a variety of media such as news, TV shows, movies and sports. The next app I would like to show you is Droidbox Share. If you have a Droidbox T8S or T8S Plus, you can use this app on your Play On to connect to and control your T8S or T8S Plus. If you have any media on your Play On, such as videos, music or documents, you can send them from your Play On to your TV via the Droidbox. There are also a few extra features such as remote control. So anything you do on your play on is copied to the droid box. For example, moving your finger on a touch screen moves the droid box cursor. There are also keys for navigation and a list of apps. These apps are currently installed on my droid box T8S Plus. You can easily choose one and it will launch on the droid box. The last feature of droid box share is the TV mirror. This provides a live stream on your play on of what is currently displaying on your droid box. You can control your droid box via the play on as normal and everything is mirrored to your play on. You can load any app that you like such as Kodi. This is from my TA Test Plus with the latest Kodi and a custom theme. This concludes our brief overview of the droid box play on. We hope that it gives you a good insight to what the Play On can do, from games, apps to media. There is so much more you can do with the Play On, including web browsing, social media and playing music. Thank you for watching this video. You can find all the relevant links in the description below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you have not already.